Hello guys, today I am going to show you how we can create a new project in HTML32 Cube MX. So here we have three different options. The first is a new project, second, is, uh, second one is the load object and uh, the third one is the help. So first I can choose this new project and here we can see, see that lots of microcontrollers and we have different options here. We have can select the core direct and series and the lines and the packages so and the one another option is that you can choose directly from the search option so here I can put my microcontroller name so stm32 f103 rb so here it shows the whole specifications of the microcontroller so I can select first the RB103 RB T6. So here we, I have two options, another two options here. So I have the STM32 F103 RB TX. So double click on it and it will start the project. If you are the new here and you don't worry about it, you can select your peripherals like what kind of the communications you need like the CAN, I, I square C2. RC, uh, SPI1 or USART and USB so there are the different kind of the uh, peripheral communication systems and you can also use the free RTOs and FATFS so here I choose uh, like RCC system clock and for the crystal then after I can select the SPI1 for the full duplex so here you can see that three pins are activated for the uh, MOSI and MISO and the system clocks and then I have system clock here so I system tick it's always activated when we are choosing this SP1 so here the, my peripheral are uh, selected and now I go to directly to the clock configuration so here I have a uh, full schematic diagram of the clock configurations here it's a eight, uh, 8 megahertz frequency I can choose this one and I can increase this frequency by using the uh, multiplication number so this I see LNCLK but there is uh, some restrictions on it so it shows the error so I can reduce it um, according to our microcontrol performance so here the system clock is 32 and the uh, high clock frequency is 32 so I can uh, here it's another T scalar for the ABP1 and ABP2 for the STM32 so if I'm 2 here so I can uh, find out the final frequency it's a 16 megahertz here it's a 32 and then after configurations now you can select directly to SPM uh, SPI configurations here the Motorola I have one option another is the E uh, it and here you can choose this 8 or 16 bit of the data and the MSD first or LSB and here it's another T scalar for the SPI uh, serial peripheral communication so here it's you can choose the power rate according to your uh, Three scalars so here I can select 64 so 500 kbps it's enough for my projects so and another NYC uh, NBIC if you have the more than one SPI and you have interrupt communication so you can select this one and DMA it's another options and GPIO it's uh, totally five six seven here and okay and I, I forgot to one tell you one thing it's here it's a one option it's a SPI enable or disable uh, for the input and output so I can choose for the manually by hardware so I can select GPIO as output so here now SPI configurations I have another option for the GPIO here GPIO and here P is always high for the selecting uh, my data and then it goes low and it takes the data from the uh, peripheral devices 
So we just speed it, how to say, medium and open. Then my project is finished. I can 